Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of season 2 here in the Sunderland career mode. It's March, we're 13 points clear at the top of the table. So we could be, by the end of this month, just a couple of games away from the title if things go our way. We've Charlton away to start. Then Bournemouth at home, which will sim. Rochdale away, followed by Colchester at home, which will sim. And then QPR away from home. So we're playing two of the other top five teams in today's episode. But simming the home one, as we feel always that home games are the best way to uh, get to victories via the simulations. So we'll play the three away games. Starting lineup is as it has been throughout the majority of the season. Looking very strong, playing very well, scoring a lot of goals. Not conceding many, although still a run of inconsistent played games continues. A couple of one-all draws in the last episode, so hopefully going to improve on that today. Going to sell some victories. Here's Nicky Ayuse. Nice tackle by yeah, Stephen Colker, but they'll take the and throw. throw Couldn't keep the, the tackle, tackle under control. Ayuse again here for Charlton. They are the lowest... Oh, nice interception by Rhys James. They are the this lowest scorers the in the league, Charlton. And we have... The best defence in the league. So, on paper, this should be a comfortable victory. When is it ever a comfortable victory for me when I'm playing a side that I really should be battering? Not very often is the answer. Corners come in again from Forstakowski. We'll see if they can do better this time. It's a good delivery. Headed away by... Well, almost... It wouldn't give me a defender's name there, so... Unless Pierce just accidentally headed it the wrong way. The other striker there, Nicky Oyoze, had actually attacked that. They might have made it 1 0 there. Charlton starting off as the more attacking side, but as seemingly has been the case with the majority of their season so far, not making the chances they're creating pay and not scoring the goals. Can we show them how it's done? Maguire, evidently not at the moment, but maybe by the end of the move. Jamal Lowe. Maguire, lacing through the gap. Rival Morrison just decides he doesn't want to shoot. No, we can't show them how it's done. Challenge. Force to Kasky over the top. Lovely ball for Nicky Ayose to chase. Reese James is with him. Nice drop of the shoulder. Lyle Taylor available in the middle. Runners around him. He's missed the ball, but it'll drop for Lapsley. Cross here to Page at left back. Crossing towards the back post. Headed away by Jack Clark. I thought he was going to strike that first time there, Kasky. Page in, in nicely to Williams. Back out to Page again. That's another good delivery. Punch Bettinelli punches. Lapsley down. It will reach the man at the in. back post. Oh, no, it won't. Finish. Justin with the header to clear away from Lyle Taylor. From Charlton continuing the their positive start here. Forced to cast with the delivery. Lyle Taylor's there. I can't believe that's gone in. He said it in off the defender in commentary, so I think it's an own goal. Keeper's gone down for it. Oh, it's gone. The keeper's gone down for it. It's gone through him or under him, hit James Justin and gone in. Well, that's not the best. Oh, he's gone down as a Lyle Taylor goal, though. The original header must have been on target, but still... It <laughs> Needed the deflection off the defender and the keeper to go in. <sighs> well, we're 1-0 down against Charlton. The lowest scorers in the league against the best defence in the league. And we're 1-0 down. Told you it'd happen. Nice lead to Jonathan Williams. And the strike's good. Bettinelli saves. You'd have thought it was the other way around, wouldn't you? Charlton have had six efforts now. And we haven't yet had a shot. Corner comes in and it's only headed back out where it came from. Kasky into the middle again and away by Corker this time. Can we get to that with Jamal Lowe? Not really. Close suit down to Page. Lyle Taylor, I'm sure they'd rather he was on the end of it. Jimmy Dunn heads behind and maybe he will be on the end of the corner. I've been pinned to my own half for the entirety of this first period. Good cross. Punched by Bettinelli. Only as far as Lapsley. Could shoot. Got space to do so. Finds Lyle Taylor instead. Charlton look like the side that are running away with the league. Not us in this game. Justin's tackle runs loose. Fosu with the delivery and James away. Oh, I needed to clear that. 
It was on target at the very least, although I think the keeper probably would have dealt with it. Tolton are unreal in this game. You would heads away. Please, ref, just blow the half-time whistle now, will you? Oh, nice tackle by Maguire. And again, ref, that'll do. There we go. Right, half-time. That's 40% possession. I need to turn this around in the second half because I've barely even been on the... Worthy of turning up, let alone anything else. I've literally done nothing in that first half at all. Back there to force the Kaski. Charlton looking to start the second. The way they lived the first. He's tackled by Justin, thankfully. Just getting rid of this, though it took a slight deflection on the clearance and dropped to force the Kaski. And they still come forward here. Lyle Taylor goes out wide to Page. Delivered in, away by Corker. As far as Fosu. Can I have that? No, it's actually worked out better for him, even though he turned into me. Jonathan Williams to Lyle Taylor. Chops the shoulder and one. Still going. Finds Ayosi. Good save by Bettinelli. Hacked away by the defender. Oh, if I could just got that under control or oh, found Jack Clark on either occasion, we might have been on the counter-attack there. Mamadou Nabi Saar been rock solid for them at the backs to this point in the game. And I am still yet to have a shot on goal in the 60th minute as we approach it. And then Gooch might try and create something. Jamal Lowe drops short there as I needed him to do to find the space. Speaking of space, Ravel Morrison's got some. But Jonathan Williams closes him down. Can't do anything against Charlton. This feels like I'm playing against Man United, not Charlton Athletic. Williams to Lyle Taylor. Jimmy Dunn. Well, I thought I'd done enough, but Lyle Taylor decided otherwise. And that's going to be two. Charlton score their second. I'm yet to have a shot on goal. What is happening at the valley? I don't know. I haven't scored yet. I haven't shot yet. 26th minute, 73rd minute. I told you I'd lose this game, didn't I? I didn't quite think I wouldn't necessarily have a shot on goal in the entirety of it as well. But it just is typical Chez, isn't it? To play the team that has the best, worst offensive record when I have the best defensive record and then lose that game by a scoreline to nil. Let alone a scoreline to nil without even having a shot yourself. This has not happened. Oh my god, it's three. This hasn't happened all year. All, all FIFA year. Like, in the entirety of FIFA 19, I don't think I've gone an entire game without having a single shot. Let alone a single shot against a side with... I just can't deal with it. We are not sprinting over the line as I'd hoped we would be with regards to this League One title. Can I please have a shot now? No, not yet. Can I please have a shot now? No, not yet. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the chance to, you know. Charlton 3, Sunderland 0, absolutely smashed. Yearwood. Look for the runner, Maguire. Into space. Turns well. I've got three or four in the middle to aim for. It's a terrible cross. Power plays the 1 2 with Yearwood. Bit of space here for Max Power. I had a shot! In the 90th minute, I had a shot. It went into the stand. Cheers, Max Power. Bosu. So to Lapsley. Is Ayose. Oh, wow. That's well over the bar. That was a carbon copy of Max Power's effort a moment ago. It's to be a 3 0 away defeat against Charlton. I won't continue to harp on about the stats because I've done that throughout the entirety of the game. I am completely taken aback by that. The absolute opposite of what I envisaged happening in that game. I can't explain that one to you. Bolton have beaten MK Dons in the battle for second. QPR have lost to Peterborough and Ipswich have drawn with Rochdale. So it's still all to play for there between three sides pushing for that second spot. The gap is 12 at the top of the table. QPR seem to be falling by the wayside now. Seven points behind Queen's Park Rangers in fourth. Jamie Ward was the last player that we trained. So it will be Murphy next that will do. The youngster that we're actually very excited about. And also training Cooper, the goalkeeper, as well at the same time. He's uh, part of this training module and he's also part of the uh, 
or another training module, the bottom one on my list. So Bolton next. This one will sim because this was the home one. And we'll probably win because it's a simulated home game. But oh, just never experienced anything like that Charlton game in the entirety of FIFA 19. Oh, Josh McGuinness makes it 1-0 to Bolton after a minute. Then Jimmy Dunn can, picks up a knock after five. Please don't let this be the episode where our season falls apart. Thank you, James Justin, for equalising six minutes before half-time. I mean, avoiding defeat is enough, but I would like to win if we possibly can. Please. Thank you. Okay. Nope, 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> right, Rochdale away. This is one we play next. Joe Dunny's out for ages. Eight weeks. Wunderbar. Amazing. So happy about that. Jack Baldwin can go in. No, we'll put Flanagan there. Oh. Christ. Rochdale next. We would. Through there to Sean Maguire. Um, is anyone going to close me down? No? Okay. Oh. I don't need to. Right. <coughs> well, at least we've not waited till the 90th minute to have a shot on goal. But we're still waiting for a shot on target in today's episode. Gooch forward there to Lowe. Good footwork from Jamalo. Just to hold the ball up and allow Lyndon Gooch the opportunity to get forward. We'll pull that back. Play it through. And Jamal Lowe. That's a great goal. That's superb. That's... Oh, I've done the G-Pop celebration again. That's what we need for the majority of the rest of the season to ensure that we win this title in the manner that we should do. 1-0. Clark with the throw. Maguire's come short. Maguire. Nobody's really followed him. We can lay that back there to Jack Clark. Just dink it in looking for Jamal Lowe in the middle. Keeper delayed. And Jamal Lowe has another. Oh, I've done it again. I really need to stop doing that celebration with Lowe because I hate it. Ah, oh, Lovely ball in by Jack Clark though. Keeper should have committed. Didn't. And Jamal Lowe grabs another. He's 14th of the League One season. And he's second of the afternoon. Into Maguire. Jamal Lowe, he's on a hat-trick now. We'll give that to Ravel Morrison. We'll look for Jamal Lowe. And he's in a good position. And he's dropped the shoulder on the defender. Oh, but McNulty gets back. Oh, Jamal, I'm sorry. I've done you over there. McLaughlin wins that header. And we won't have the opportunity directly from the corner. Stephen Colker to Yearwood. Lowe for the hat-trick. No, McNulty in the way again. One man's mission to deny Jamal Lowe a hat-trick. 32nd minute, sorry, 34th minute, now 35th, still 2-0. Win that header, Stephen. Well up. Stand a chance, man, that was next to him there. We'll get it into Jack Clark. Look for low. low. Oh, it's nicely done. Jamal Lowe still going. Oh, but wider the target. You would. Oh, this is the chance. I'll try wide to try and draw the number five towards me. And Jamal Lowe's in. McNulty won't get to me this time. He has his hat trick. Jamal Lowe ah, didn't do the default celebration. 3 0. Sunderland over Rochdale. This is more like it, isn't it? Maguire. I mean, he's in again here. Low. And it's Delaney that was that number five that was with me, not McNulty. Looking for an assist instead. Oh, but Josh Lillis denies Lyndon Gooch the chance of a goal. Lovely save. Jack Clark will deliver the ball in. Colker's up for this. Wins the header. And Lillis stops me again. How can we have one shot in the entire game against Charlton, but be 3-0 up and peppering the Rochdale goal in the very next game? I don't understand. I want to see where that was aimed because I'm pretty sure I aimed that with my defender at the keeper. That's what I intended to do. And indeed I did. Aimed that header at my goalkeeper so that he'd head it home. And apparently that means it's going to the guy next to me. Cheers game. Rochdale back in it. Henderson. Inman drops the shoulder. Manicking. Nice tackle by James Justin. Max Lowe is Low. back from injury but not fully fit yet the for the left-back role. It's good work between these two. be good to have him back, although Reese James has been decent in that left-back role. 
as he gets caught out of position. He has been decent in that left role and has actually grown to 71 rated now, Reese James. So Max Lowe certainly not walking back into the starting lineup. Does have some competition, but I will try him out for a couple of games again when he's back to see if we see any improvement, if any improvement could be made at left back. This is obviously going to Lyndon Gooch in this situation. Jamal Lowe is battling with a man next to him. We'll play it into Jamal. And McNulty's there again. Oh, thankfully, we've already got that third goal with Jamal Lowe. So McNulty's one man mission is, unfortunately for him, already over. Lyndon Gooch, first time cross, first time header. Oh, post and wide for Flanagan. Rathbone. Comes to Adshead. Andrew. Oh, nicely through the gap there to Winman. Delivery could come in. It's decent. Headed away by Colcut. Why? Oh, Jamal Lowe gets to it, but then Delaney steps in. Here's Petrick. Five minutes to go here for Rochdale. There's no reason why they can't get themselves back in the game. Especially with the way that we've been playing in the past few episodes. Still doing okay, though, here to keep them out. 3-1 the scoreline. We've had plenty of chances in this game to score twice as many goals as that as well. Unfortunately, the keeper and or defenders have been on point to keep us out numerous times. I'm pretty sure now we're going to get the victory with the uh, stoppage time on the clock now of three minutes. Rochdale trying to get that one more goal back for their goal difference. And Delaney will give them that. Just as well we found that hat-trick goal for Jamal Lowe then, isn't it? Delaney's done wonderfully well there. You see a replay of that floating in and that is the sort of header you would expect from a deadly striker not a centre back that was wonderful from Ryan Delaney I think I said he was I skipped him I think that was saying his first goal of the season what a way to score your first goal of the year brilliant header but unfortunately for Rochdale it's too little too late Jamal Lowe will pick up the match ball for his hat trick they had three shots two on target scored them both Jamal Lowe got a 10 out of 10, though, so we'll take that. Bolton beat Charlton. Ooh, QPR beat Scunthorpe. MK Dons win as well. Didn't see Ipswich's result, but it's Bolton now that are up into second. Here's the monthly report again. Still waiting for another. Oh, we'll wait and see what Bennett's like. Oh, we'll give you another month. Oh, God. We've uh, not had an adequate youth scout available yet. I haven't had a, uh, someone with five-star judgment, but four-star experience. Uh, was Reese Bennett we called up? Ah, oh, that's... Well, it's got good agility and balance, but the acceleration, sprint speed, strength and jumping are dead. He's only five foot seven as well. Decent ball control. I don't think he's going to be worthwhile in the end but we'll we'll keep him there for now right can i have a five star judgment guy uh, still five star another five star five star i need a a four star five star well, four star experience five star judgment judgment is the most important thing because that's where i'm going to get the better players you can see here five star experience only four star judgment from jordan alexander and uh we've only had really a couple of worthwhile players We'll simulate this game against Colchester, though. We're still 13 points clear at the table with nine games to go. We'll hopefully make that... Well, hopefully 16 points clear with eight games to go, but I doubt that will happen. We'll wait and see. Nothing's happening, apparently. Oh, no, there you go. Jack Clark scored a goal. It's 29 minutes. Having a look through on the right-hand side... Uh, Ipswich drawing with Blackpool. MK Dons losing to Peterborough. Any sign of... Oh, they've pulled one back, though. Maguire gives us a second goal. QPR win 3-0 against Plymouth, and it's QPR that we play next. So what does the league table look like? <laughs> it is 16 points, so the Ipswich have a game in hand. Ipswich have a game in hand, but... Oh, who's injured now? Oh, it's only... A... Jamalo's only out for two days. That's fine. All right, we should be able to call Max Lowe back up now at left back so we'll put Rhys James back on the bench and then Adam Matthews can drop out and Max Lowe can come back into the starting lineup and he should be fully fit and raring to go for the next game against Queen's Park Rangers which will be where we'll end today's episode hopefully with another set of three points
impairing a bit our visibility Jack Clark with the throw the in there to Jamal yeah. Lowe Morrison the into players, Yearwood um, bit of space, he has done it before he really gave it the not on this occasion I thought for a moment that was going to fly into the back of the net there from Drew Yearwood but cutting across it, didn't quite bend back enough but very nearly 1-0 to us here at Loftus Road to move themselves Clark, to get up forward the there to Jamal Lowe in short to Drew Yearwood Sean Maguire played in He'll race away and on his left foot buries it. On occasion, his left foot's been diabolically poor for us, Sean Maguire. Not then. Lovely finish into the far top corner. We'll take that. I did have the option to uh, square it across to Jamalo, but I wasn't confident that I'd get it to him without Leisner getting a foot in. In the end, didn't need to square it to ensure the goal. 24th of the League One season for Sean Maguire. I'd say single-handedly firing us towards the title, but Jamal Lowe has certainly had a big part to play, and Jack Clark scored a few goals as well in a number of the simulated games. We're having a very accomplished season here in League One this year. We'll have to wait and see if we can do something even remotely similar in the Championship next year. Owens over the top. It's a lovely ball, actually, and he's played in behind here. I'm not going to try and pronounce that Polish name. His dawling, bit of a heavy touch, but the ball roll frees the space again, and Shadopo hits the post. Shadipo even should have buried that, although the pressure of James Justin clearly enough to put the QPR man off. That's the closest they've come to an equaliser. Easily the closest they've come to an equaliser. Turn inside of Sam Nicholson here. will drill this towards Jamal Lowe. Lovely touch to get it out of his feet. Space here for Jack Clark out of his feet, and the shot. Oh! Oh, I tried to rifle that into the far top corner and it's just kind of floated. He scooped it. It's dipping, but not quite dipping enough onto the roof of the net from Jack Clark. I'm actually going to take Jamalo off here because as you can see, he's struggling for stamina. So we'll uh, we'll give we'll give Harrison a game. And for the first time, we're going to bring on this Murphy kid. 66 rated now. Four star weak foot, three star skills. We'll see if he can cut the mustard. We'll have 25 minutes to impress Baldwin. Morrison is there. Morrison. played in short. Around the corner to Yearwood. Did the defender there with a drop of a shoulder. He barely even Climbing moved. Away. Harrison's touch is okay. He's carrying a knock at the minute. George Harrison. But he could poke through. Murphy on his debut. Scores! Is that a sign of the future? Murphy with his... First touch of the game, as far as I can recall. I don't think he's been involved yet. Drifts away, great positioning. One touch to set himself, another to finish. Wasn't tucked in the bottom corner, but just smacked through the keeper. He's got a four-star weak foot, but I believe he's left-footed, and indeed he is. Is he going to be an absolutely killer player for us on the right-hand side of midfield? In years to come. Ed Murphy. First goal of his Sunderland career. I'd probably say not his last. Out wide to the winger. Still not going to try and pronounce that name. Can never remember what the emphasis is or what sound is created by the accent on the L. Or what looks like an L. There with the Polish name. So I'm not even going to bother trying to uh, pronounce that. But we get the 2-0 victory. And Ed Murphy, I said he'd got 25 minutes to impress. Well, I think he impressed. Barely had anything to do. But what he did have to do, he did well. We'll have to give him more play time between now and the end of the season to see if uh, he's actually going to be a genuine uh, possibility for the future. But we are 16 points clear now at the top of the table. 16 points. We'll have to check and see actually uh, how many how many points are left available. I think there's seven games to go. Did it say 39 games played? It did. So seven games to go, 21 points available, and we are 16 points clear. So two wins, and that's us winning the league. Let's do that in the next episode then, shall we? Oh, Reese Cooper wants out. He's the other um, goalkeeper, isn't he? So we can we can call him up. I'm pretty sure Reese Cooper is the goalkeeper. Indeed he is. Yeah, we'll call you up, sir. Promote to the senior team. Welcome, welcome. 
Still unsure about Reese Bennett. Nicholas Shaw, still unsure about him. Harrison Green looks like he could be good. Just wait and see how his physicals develop, but I will start training his technicals soon. And Dylan Robson, oh, Dylan Robinson, sorry. 81 to 87. He's still only 15, but I'm really unsure about him. I'm really unsure about him. But we have keepers for the future now. Because Bettinelli's in goal currently. He's 27. 27. And then Watson and now Cooper will be our future keepers for the remainder of the save, really. Or I'd like to think, anyway. So I think we're set for goalkeepers for the remainder of the save. Cooper's six foot two. Watson six foot six. Acrobatic though, Watson. Whereas oh no, Cooper's acrobatic as well. They're both acrobatic. Not sure whether that will uh, mean that I won't necessarily enjoy playing with them. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, very happy with the way things are going. Obviously, 16 points clear at the top of the table. And in the next episode, we will see the league season out and grab ourselves that promotion. No idea how things will go in the championship, but for now, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more. And I'll see you next time.